Let's head now to a developing story. Black Lives Matter demonstrators marched and rallied today demanding justice after the fatal police shooting of a black teen. Now the victim's family is meeting with representatives of the Rainbow Push Coalition. WGN's Mike Lowe is live in Waukegan with more. Mike. And good afternoon to both of you. We are outside the family home of Marcella Stanett, the young man who was shot and killed by Waukegan police officers earlier this week. As you mentioned, members of the Rainbow Push Coalition are here meeting with the family and demanding that a special prosecutor take over the investigation of this case because they, like so many in this community, simply do not trust local authorities to handle this investigation, which is why today a number of them took that message to the streets. Nearly 100 protesters marched through Waukegan demanding justice after a Waukegan police officer shot and killed 19-year-old Marcellus Stinnett during a traffic stop. What is his name? Marcellus Stinnett. Stinnett was sitting in a car with his 20-year-old girlfriend, Tafara Williams, who was driving Tuesday night. Police deemed it a, quote, suspicious vehicle. Police say they stopped the car near Liberty and Oak Streets, and Stinnett and Williams drove away. Another officer found them nearby at the corner of Martin Luther King Jr. and South Avenues. Police say when an officer approached them, Williams reversed the car toward the officer, and the officer opened fire. Stinnett was shot and killed. Williams survived. My foot got heavy when I was reversing it. From her hospital bed, Williams told her mother what happened. The whole squad pulled up together, but it was only one officer that started shooting at me. I don't know if the rest followed because they blazed my car up. Johnson's mother spoke at a rally outside of the Waukegan Police Department today, saying her daughter, who was shot in the stomach, survived to tell the story. Justice will be served because they left you to speak for the ones that can't speak. Come on, Black lives do matter. No weapon was found in the car. The officer who fired the shots was placed on administrative leave. The Illinois State Police are now investigating, but Black Lives Matter activists say that's not acceptable. We don't trust the Illinois State Police to investigate the case. We prefer to have the DOJ come in to investigate the case and tell your question, no, we don't trust this process. We don't seen how the process works all across the country. Meantime, the grieving grandmother of Marcella Stinnett said this is a time for both justice and mercy. My grandson died with a smile on his face. This is I know what he is. Stinnett. Thank you, Jesus. And the police officer, he's forgiven. Amen. I have to forgive him. Yes. That's what God yes. wants me to do. That's right. He's forgiven. Hallelujah. He's Thank forgiven. And as far as this investigation goes, investigators are now reviewing both dashboard camera video and uh, body camera footage from police. Once that investigation is completed, which could be some number of weeks from now, once that investigation is completed, the Lake County State's attorney will make a decision on whether or not that officer will be charged. Reporting live this afternoon in Waukegan, Mike Lowe, WGN News.